I think the new science resource is much better um, than what is currently around because it clearly addresses the latest version of the Australian curriculum. Um, it not only addresses every single content description in the science understanding, but it also includes uh, the human endeavour and the science inquiry skills quite explicitly. The chapters follow a logical sequencing of conceptual development, which means that the students, as they work their way through, the, the developing an understanding of the content, they do it in a logical progression that makes sense and is easy for them to, to build on their understandings as it progresses certainly from one um, year level to the next. As I said, the human endeavour strand is explicitly addressed um, and the content, I think another important aspect is the content of the human endeavour strand is within the context of the science understanding. So it's not something that stands aside, something additional that the students have to learn, but it provides them with an opportunity to see how that science understanding plays out in the real world. There is also uh, a section, a module, where relevant, um, in the different chapters on the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander histories and cultures cross-curricular priority. And again, this is written in the context of the chapter. So students have an opportunity to see how First Nations people were able to apply science that they're using today in both historical and current contexts and to understand how um, First Nations people cont can contribute to and can contribute to an understanding of the Australian environment and ways of doing it. So Nelson's made a, a massive effort to incorporate suitable pedagogies the most effective pedagogies to incorporate differentiation in all aspects of the textbook. So for example, the differentiation is seen clearly in the programming of the textbook, then right through the organisation and structure of the textbooks, through to the end of module activities, to the end of chapter revision questions, and um, finally, the, all the, the formative and summative assessments. The pedagogies they chose are the pedagogies that I use in my classroom, at my school and in my state. So they include um, solo taxonomy, the revised Bloom's taxonomy, and of course the Australian curriculum verbs that are really so strong now in the curriculum and with our version 9 of the Australian curriculum which will have on show and uh, be required if you like of students and teachers. And the other thing that for me is really important is how considerate of the teachers this one is. We know how time poor teachers are um, and really thought about what they needed um, as well to support them. So things like having scope and sequences done for them, having um, assessments that, that they're able to use, both pre-tests and, um, and end of topic tests, um, having the resources there available to them. That in, we're aiming, hoping that that will really make the teachers' jobs a lot easier and let them focus on the individual students rather than having to develop all of those things themselves. As far as differentiation now is something that, you know, teachers have to do every day um, in every moment of time. And this book actually has been written with that in mind. One key thing is, is making sure that the literacy um, is accessible to all kids so that we, um, we're, we're not cutting out students from being able to access the information that's in the text. But then we're complementing that with MindTap, um, having a lot of visual representations as well. I think we'll really support those students, particularly with poor literacy skills, because they can um, use those, um, might be photos or images, to support what they're actually reading in the text.
the same time, thinking about the um, students at the other end of the spectrum and having those um, opportunities for extension, um, having those opportunities to look at where is this applicable in, in their lives so that they've, they've got a few more open-ended type of situations to think about um, can allow that sort of differentiation as well. The Nelson series is designed to build science skills. Each chapter has a section on science skills in focus. So for example, in the year 10 book, you would have uh, skills of graphing in the motion chapter or in the chemistry chapter would have a section on gathering qualitative and quantitative data on chemical reaction. I think the most important aspect of certainly the year 10 book is that there are taster chapters for biology, chemistry, and physics. In these chapters, we seek to go a little bit further than what's in the curriculum. And this is done really to prepare students for senior sciences. Also, on the website, there will be assessment types that mirror the science assessments in senior year 11 and year 12. So for example, each chapter will have a data test. We'll also have a student experiment and a research investigation. So this will enable teachers and students to become familiar with the types of assessments that they should expect to see in year 11 and year 12. I think this is a very, very crucial difference between Nelson and the other publishers.